uh, animal facts, I remembered one in the week. Um, Go on. There was, do you know them two gay American men who have, have tigers? Well, they're not necessarily gay. Not, they? No one actually knows if they are gay no, or not. They are. All right. Okay, well, yeah. They, okay. Gilbert and George, is it? No, that's those <laughs> artists. Well, yeah. They're called Siegfried and Roy. But, yeah. but anyway. Who, have... but who may or may not be gay. Yeah. And if they are, so what? And if they are, so what? But yeah. if they're not, and they no, don't... I look... just said that so you knew, knew what I was talking about. Cause sure. Okay, the two gay ones, yeah. Go on. Two possibly gay ones. Yeah, let, let's not worry about libel law um, anymore, then. Or, yeah, if you on. shave a tiger's head... <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Right, okay. You've got to treat that sentence with a lot more reverence than you did. <laughs> Think what you're saying. If you shave a tiger's head, not just his head, its whole body. If you... Oh, sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. So I thought you, I thought you were getting weird. Go on. Then, yeah. If you shave a tiger, yeah, go on. It's still stripy underneath. The yeah. Skin, the skin. Is stripy. it like rock? <laughs> it goes all, it the, way like all the way through. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's amazing. Where did you hear that one? That's. I remembered that. Like, I was. Was that drunk it. just shouting it in the street? <laughs> 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 I shaved a tiger and it's still stripy. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I must yeah. make a note of that thing's time. <laughs> yeah, that's an interesting fact. Well, you know a polar bear? Come on. Polar bear's um, skin is actually um, black, and its fur is transparent, not white, and it gives the illusion. So it uh, gets all the radiation possible from the sun, but it's still camouflaged. I didn't understand that, Rick. Sorry, you lost me. If a, its skin's black... A polar and, bear's and skin's skin, black. And its fur is translucent. And its fur is translucent. So why is it white when we say Well, it's it just because the, the light hits it and the sun reflects on yeah it. and it makes it look white yeah so if you look at each individual hair it's actually translucent so at night hair. it would be black <laughs> well everything is is it yeah oh not bright stuff rick <laughs> <laughs> you've embarrassed yourself play a record oh i know all about animals and stuff do you rick <laughs> did they ever wash each other by mistake they go oh oh oh, oh. that ends there that ends there like those things in supermarkets. They put <laughs> yes. one of those down. We go, oh, 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 oh. You, you put mean? that there. What do you mean? You know the things on the conveyor belt, the little the little dividers. Yeah, they but, wind me up those dividers. I sorry, I was a complete tangent, but I, for some reason, it's my own psychosis. But I get so annoyed if I'm in a supermarket. I've got my shopping. I'm just about to get served. And you can always see there are certain people who stand behind you getting edgy, itchy, worried that I'm not going to put the divider down to separate my shopping from theirs. It's like they're terrified that I'm somehow going to deliberately pay for their Sneaking shopping. Sneaking their onion. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't get an onion. I'll have that. Mm. And it's just... But what annoys me is it's not so much that... Obviously, it's a practical thing. Mm. It's the fact that they get a little bit edgy. You can actually see certainly kind of... Um, dare I say it? A certain breed of woman and a certain breed of fella will uh, just get a little bit itchy, a little bit edgy... And they just, they just look at you, you can just see them sweating, especially if they can't read. I just lean over and do it myself. Well, I know, but it's the thing is that it's like they almost feel that they, uh, they ought to wait for me to do it, as though somehow it's my obligation. And it just annoys, for some reason, it's, I know it's ludicrous, but it really annoys me. And I actually deliberately don't put the divider down just to see them sweat. I like the way that they're, that they're actually quite well made. There's some that are brass with like a yeah. felt bottom. Yeah. Like you really care, like a, a twig would do, wouldn't it? <laughs> exactly. You know what I mean? But so uh, I just leave a slight gap. And then yeah. when it gets to the, when the woman's putting it through the, the till or the guy, I just say, that's my stuff. Do you ever look at the people shopping and go, oh, I should have got that? Often. Oh, yeah. That's annoying. It's, I'll tell you what it is, it's the same thing, and again, it's my psychosis. When people, if you're on a bus or a train, and we're pulling into the stop, but there's a good, you know, kind of 35 seconds before we're actually going to come to a halt, they sure. leap up, they get and they're first, straight yeah. by the door. Yeah. Like, but it's this fear that something, they're going to miss out. Oh my god, what if I fell over yeah, now and broke my ankle, I'd never get be, out. To be fair, I've never had that that um commuters worry i've never commuted but every second counts doesn't it because you miss a train it can make a difference of half an hour so that's why commuters literally run to but, get their connections but the thing is that with a bus yeah um you, you know there's often you'll be people who are sat right next to the exit will get up and stand up for a while waiting to get out it just again i'm I'll not saying what, it's not it makes I'll perfect sense what, to them got a day it's to my live, psychosis they're going to be mowed down in the streets <laughs> they will just gonna, be a few you're going to be in a lovely chrysler Exactly. Yeah. Just well, I will be going straight through a branch of Waitrose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> taking people out in the in the. So in the well, we do not condone going through Waitrose in a car. <laughs> in a car. I didn't really appreciate the Stones when I was younger. I was always a Beatles fan, but now I can't really listen to the Beatles. I just right. it's like I've used them up. It's about you know? five tracks I like. Yeah, the but the Stones just get better and better. And that one's brilliant, hearing. and the video is so good. Oh, well. amazing! From 1981, that was uh, waiting on a friend from the Rolling Stones. Right. Uh, what have we got? We've got more fun coming up, I imagine. Yeah, Cheeky Freak of the Week. Uh, an amusing story about inflatable testicles. We've already given you half an hour talking about gay people. Who yeah. knows what else will be coming up? Yeah, big market. 
Out of Time by Blur on XFM 104.9. All right, Carl, what are you thinking? Thinking that stuff. <laughs> You're an enigma, aren't you? Yeah. I would just say hello to, we've got an American listener, apparently, Karen. Anyway, well, <laughs> <not. laughs> I thought that might fill up four seconds. We're not struggling, are we? No, no, I mean, no, no. We, we well, do. Just consult the list of, um, on, of Dr. Fox-esque amusing Wife, topics. Wet Ones, Screwball, Shop Train, Cheeky Freak, Ronan. What's what that? was Ronan? Ronan. I just was uh, telling you the other day about, you know, that, that song that he does. Uh, Loving every day as if it's your last one. Right. Yeah. I'm just thinking he's saying that as if, like, oh, I'll have a good day. But I reckon if if you knew it was your last day, I don't think you'd be in the mood to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But what, that's true. But, well, yeah, I but, think the point is that it's living a day like it's your last. So, God, God, imagine if it was every day like the last. Right, let's go mental. And the good thing is, we've got tomorrow. So he's got the best of both worlds. That's what Ronan's saying. He's saying cram it in, because it might be the last. I think it's more like, it's the not knowing, isn't it? Live every day. See, I'd be see. I actually be happy if if I never knew mm. when I was going to die, yeah. and I was definitely going to die in my sleep. What a brilliant life you'd have! Do you know what I mean? What? So you don't get an illness, but one night you go to bed and I know that if you knew you were going to die in the sleep and never knew when you were going to die, it wouldn't matter if it was tomorrow or thirty years time. It wouldn't matter, would it? Yeah. I've lost you, haven't I? I've lost you somewhere. I can't, I can't, that was, see, I thought that was pretty easy, all that. I said, die in your sleep and not know when you died. There was no high concept there. No, no sleight of hand linguistically. What, where did I lose you? I think you lost him on sleight of hand linguistically. <laughs> Just then. <laughs> you lost him again. Yeah, I, I think that's the way I'd, I'd want to go. I don't, I don't want to know about it. That's why I don't go to the doctors or anything. <laughs> that's a good, that's Brilliant. a good approach. And he, 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 he do you remember him saying, he, uh, He's gonna die of cancer because he uh, doesn't check his balls. He doesn't like the feel. Of course, of course. What do they feel like? Your balls? Like a like a wet chamois leather. <laughs> <laughs> With two marbles, two kumquats in a wet chamois leather. No, but I just. I... Why are they wet? Sweaty. No, they're not. I'm just saying smooth. Are they smooth? Yeah, because a, a chamois leather's smoother when it's. Do you shave them? No, I don't. In case, of, in case a fireman pops round, you want to look your best. It looks <laughs> like your head. You know, a fireman pops round, there you are, and he goes, oh, nice, smooth. So you never go to the doctors? What, even? I don't, I don't like it. But if you found some buboes under your arm or something, you... I'd wait for a bit, and I'd, I'd say to Suzanne, what do you think of that? <laughs> Just see if it develops into play. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, because you know, don't you? you know old bandages you know. around <laughs> your head, yeah. and a bell. Yeah. Suzanne, yeah. where you are, can you get me a bell? Exactly. Brilliant. I don't... You know, there was this kid at our school we took the piss out of for the basically the rest of his time there because when <laughs> he was about eleven, someone said, "How oh, would you want to die?" Right? We do that thing, drowning fire, all that. He said, "I want to die of old age in my mother's arms." How old was he? About eleven, loser. <laughs> Oh, in my mother's arms. <laughs> what, getting off with her? What does that mean? Die of old age. You know, that's an old cheat. <laughs> Brilliant. I want to die of old age with my nan and my mum. <laughs> yeah, all in the same bed. <laughs> oh, oh dear. So if you, if you, if if it was the last day, if you had what one day to live, okay, yeah. what would you do with your day? Now let's assume that. Um, it's, you're not, you're not in a state of ill health. There's not much you can do. Though, it's just the you? end of the world. And <laughs> what do you mean? Day? There's not much you can do. I mean, that's what we're asking you. It's the last day of your life. It depends, doesn't it? If, if we're all in the same boat, if someone says, oh, unlucky, um, without bitterness, like, oh, we accidentally exposed you to some radiation poison and you've got a day, or if it was like there's a meteor coming this way, we're all in the same boat, it, I think it would be different. It depends whether it's you it make uh, no and the rest to me. of the world. No? I'd do the same thing. I'd steal a car and go joyriding. <laughs> but, like, go mental. I'd be smashing stuff. I'd be knocking people over for a laugh. I'd yeah. be going crazy. It'd be like Grand Theft Auto. Right, <laughs> it would okay. be extraordinary. Brilliant. Driving through park. That's what I, that's what I did in the getaway. Yeah. I tried to play it seriously, and within about ten minutes, I was just going around areas I knew, yeah, trying to exactly. knock people over. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I, I don't think I'd want to do that much. Seriously. You can watch telly, because you, you might not know how the thing ends. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, if we waste uh, time. You could watch 24, couldn't you? If you had a day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. On DVD. Do that then, do that. <laughs> do that, yeah. What, 
but I mean, let's be honest. You've, let's say you, you know, you could take all the money out of your bank account. You can fly anywhere in the world. You can do whatever you want. Well, you've not a long flight. You could well, no, but you've got your girlfriend. Australia, you wouldn't make it, would you? No. Um, oh, why, why, you, why, why, why wouldn't you go to the monkey sanctuary down in Cornwall and just go around cuddling as many monkeys as you can? I'm going to tell you something now. Go on. Go in there next week. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> Taking my mum and dad away, because, like, Suzanne's mum and dad are <laughs> What, you're donating most people, them? Most people put them in a home. <laughs> what are you going to say? How you a monkey sanctuary? It's cheaper. Taking them down, uh, yeah, taking them down to Cornwall. Hold on, uh, I thought you said you'd never go away with parents again. No, no, but that was Suzanne's mum and dad. Oh, this is, is this to get so, even or something? So, yeah, so we'll do that and then, then we'll can it, then. <laughs> <laughs> that was your outing. Oh. Your phone and both set to parents and it goes, right, you won't be seeing us ever again on holiday. We've taken you away, we've taken you away. Be careful that the monkey people don't buy you off your parents. Yeah. You and know, don't make sure, monkey. make sure they don't leave any of the monkey's food in the telephone box because dad'll have that away. Yeah. No. I was talking to him about that the other day. About the, uh, nicking him phone boxes. And he, uh, Should we just me. explain that to Well, they live in a small village in Wales, and, uh, it's like one sort of utility store, and when it's shut, they leave you shopping in the telephone box across the road. And Carl's dad found out about this, <laughs> goes and helps himself. Yeah, to other people shopping. <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah, go on. And, uh, I was talking to him about that, saying, you know, have you picked up any surprises in the phone box? And, uh, he said, no, no, we were talking about other stuff he used to do. Uh, one of them used to be going in this supermarket, right, in Manchester. Yeah. Needs a new pair of shoes. Yeah. Go in, take a new pair off the shelf, pop them on, leave his old ones there. Really? And walk out again? Yeah, brilliant. Floor and then you go in after and buy his old ones back like an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then you'd go in the next day. They look nice. <laughs> yeah. My dad's got a pair just like that. I've always wanted to. <laughs> Can I have those? <laughs> <laughs> Incidentally, we don't advocate the stealing of shoes from shops. Or, or, or the joyriding and killing people. <laughs> Unless you've got one day left. Okay. <laughs> or phone boxes. <laughs> We've yeah. got, um, Go educating, a quick, quick. A educating Ricky, while yeah, the teacher's Because really, well, well, you taught me that people used to eat tomatoes off lead plates in the land of Narnia yeah, last week, which was good. Week. Yeah. No, Is it only tomatoes they eat off the lead plates, by the way? Why, why didn't they think other fruits and vegetables were poisonous? Be no, it wasn't. It was because tomatoes had acid in them. That was the problem. You see, you don't, you don't, don't listen. listen, right? Well, lots of fruits have acid in them. Yeah, but they didn't eat them back then. <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't have bloody kiwi fruit and stuff. Don't they say back then. bloody. You're a producer. I start, start saying uh, shit and cock and stuff, you start saying bloody. Tits. <laughs> right, so, right. Uh, What is this? What are you doing now? This is educating Ricky. Right? Oh, good. I'm going to look forward to this. Yeah. Three Ricky. topics that I teach you every week. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, obviously, I should just remind people, you normally summarise each of these in a kind of bullet point heading, which you tease us with, so yeah. what have you uh, reduced them to this week? Right, we've got, um, Stocking, Ake and Waterman. Stocking <laughs> Aiken and Waterman. Good. Yeah. Uh, what else have we got? <laughs> We've also got, uh, what else is it? It's not his, his vault. Yeah? It's not what? It's not his vault. Okay. Yeah? And we've also got, get a lobe of this. Get a lobe of this? Yeah. Carl, they're genius. <laughs> Rick, are we choosing one of these after new order? <laughs> Oh, Foo Fighters and All My Life on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Jamaica with me, Stephen Merchant and Carl Pilkington. <laughs> so, um, just before we do educating, uh, Ricky, this is where Carl thinks he can give me something of interest and teach me something to take away. Last week I found out that, uh, somewhere in a strange land people thought tomatoes were poisonous because they ate them with lead. Um, things like that. Um, what was the other one you told me? Uh, was it last week? Uh, bit so, of worms. Cut yeah. me off. Yeah. Oh, I, I, uh, sent him a text message. I was on the train, a bit bored, and, uh, I read in, I think it was Metro, scientists have found out that, um, uh, worms get stressed, and they found out that, uh, the fat ones, um, didn't live as long. And when they checked the thin ones that lived longer, they found out they had a gene for de-stressing them. Right? Carl, what, do you remember what you said? No. He went, well, that's stupid, isn't it? He said, did these uh, other ones die of natural causes? <laughs> I went, yeah, he went, all right. Because it could be that the fat ones couldn't get off the pavement quick enough and got squashed. <laughs> so maybe the scientists go, yeah, we didn't. <laughs> yeah, they come to think of it, they were flat as well as fat. 
I think the reason that the uh, worms are getting stressed is because uh, people like Carl are cutting them in half to try and make two snakes. Yeah. Yeah. Two, two worms. Well, yeah. Well. That's the concern. <laughs> he huh? said, he said they can't even commit suicide if they're stressed by cutting <laughs> their throat. <laughs> <laughs> I also sent him what I thought was quite interesting that the science have found that, um, the elephant hasn't got the best memory. The sea lion has, uh, right. based on, uh, they've, they've got a sea lion and they, uh, got it back into the old, uh, laboratory. Ten years after it taught it a simple trick and it could still do the trick. What did you say to that, Carl? I'd say they don't go up to much anyway. <laughs> so if you do teach it something, it is going to remember it. Sure. Because it's got nothing else to do. Yeah. yeah. And then it also, I mean, I like sea lions. They look nice and everything, but what do they do? What was <laughs> that? <laughs> sea lions? Yeah, what, what are they here for? It's another jellyfish, so, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> it's like, it's there and people know about them, but what do they do? Mm. Yeah. What, does what do we do? do? What do we do, Carl? Well, what do we do? A, a cat, a cat, first, Steve said, is good for your heart. So you, you Why is it all geared to what's good for us? Well, <laughs> anyway. Educating Educa Ricky. Ricky. Uh, Good, we settled that then. Go on. <laughs> the titles that are, yeah. uh, meant to sort of pull you in. Yeah. We've got, if, uh, what, what, what was it? So, Stocking, Aitken and Waterman. Yeah. You've got, it's not his vault. <laughs> and, uh, get a load of this. <laughs> get a load of this. So, uh, which pun do I pick first? Um, I think I'll go for, uh, get a load of this. Get a lobe of this. Yeah, get yeah. a lobe of this, yeah. Well, that's, uh, that's a story about a girl who, uh, <laughs> she was deaf, right, for, for four years. And, um, it happened quite a bit back this. What year? Or was it, about, well, I think specific it was in, ages ago, was about, it? About, yeah, quite a bit back. Yeah. Uh, she was deaf for about four years. Having an argument with her mum, it said, which I didn't quite understand, because mm. I don't know how they do that. Yeah. But she was having an argument, well, a and a man pushed her against the wall, yeah. and she banged her head, and her hearing came back. Okay. Uh, was she wearing a Walkman, and it fell out, and she'd realised, oh, that's There's what. no explanation. There's no explanation? Well, why is that teaching me something <laughs> right, then? so I knew you'd say this, <laughs> right? So I thought, right, I'll stick something on it. Do you know that bees are deaf? <laughs> no! No, you can't just, no! <laughs> If no. you ask someone something they don't the answer to, they don't tell you something else. Just I'll tell you something else then. I can't answer that, I'll tell you something else. Imagine that, if you asked a teacher. Look, how do birds fly? Wow, if you're gonna do that, tallest building is, <laughs> I mean, what? <laughs> well, that, that was the equivalent, Carl, of running away. <laughs> <when we asked laughs> yeah, you a question. yeah, the intellectual equivalent of going, look over there, there's a monster. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Listen. What do you mean? What she? Okay, so oh. so she. Her There's hearing. There's no came explanation. Back. There's no explanation. <laughs> or you don't know. Well, there isn't one, is there? Really? It's a bit what? Weird. Did the, the doctors, only did thing the doctors that... not look into it? No, I think they just said, "Oh, that's good." <laughs> But so, so, again, I don't- <laughs> where did this information- is that- if you read this on is the that net, is it? that all they put there on the net? There was once no. a deaf woman who hit her head and she and could hear. Came it was bizarre things about being deaf. Was there free, oh, like- yeah. was there I've got that book, yeah, it's a good book, that. Was there three yeah. more pages you just couldn't be bothered to read off? Yeah. No, no, it was just a little bit and it Was said, there a little picture, a cartoon picture? No pictures, I just read going, it. Ow! Look, Ow, if you I don't want to know, if you don't want to learn, you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, uh, uh, um, it's not his vault. Let me have it's not his vault. You've got to save this. This has got to teach me something. It'll be an interesting story. Right, it's not his vault. This fella. Yeah. Um, what year? Ages old, ago? Old times? In, I'd say in the seventies. Okay. Would you? <laughs> Any evidence for that? And, uh... Does he wear flares in the, uh, <laughs> in the story? Right. Is that it's your reason? No, it's, it's a bit like Yori Geller, this fella, right? Where oh, yeah. he's electric. He's electric. And, um... <laughs> if he walks past the telly, the telly would fizz. Uh huh. If he walked past the radio, it all goes like that. Ooh. His hair stuck up all the time. Ugh. And he'd be having a bath and everything would be alright and then the power would sort of switch on in his body and the electric in his body made him jump out of the bath. <laughs> so... <laughs> what do you mean, so? What is that so- what does that so mean? <laughs> You've given us nothing. You've given us nothing. You'd have to at least give us the scientific explanation. Yeah. Electric eels have 400 volts in them. Oh, is this the running away again? <laughs> what was that one called? Yeah, but they-, they, they but it's, there's not, a, it's not his vault. But there's a reason <laughs> they-, they, 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 they <laughs> Not his vault! It's not his vault! I thought it was gonna be something about keeping I think it we should, safe. I think we should do these the other way around. <laughs> I think you should tell vault. us the story and then we'll hear the pun. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's not his fault. It's not his fault. Right, let's leave it. Play a tune. Educating Ricky. Uh, We're not doing it. No, we are. Oh. Don't, what? Don't look at me like that. Oh, Carl, what? are you in a bad mood? The oh, Carl, uh, dreaming right. of you. Right, do the last one. Do the last one. Carl's saying we're never doing this again because we don't appreciate it. Yeah, Carl, you don't know how good this feature is, mate. Right, last one. Yeah. Stocking Aitken and Waterman. Go on then, tell me about that one. What's that? What am I going to learn from this? Right, well, do you know the saying, put a sock in it? <laughs> <laughs> I like it already. Do you know the saying? Yeah. Right, well, do you know where it comes from? I assume it's shut up, so I'll stuff your mouth with a sock to well, shut you up. Years ago. Yeah. Sorry, am I right? No, not really. Ages ago. 1970s? Uh, 50s, okay. I'd say. Do you know the old, uh, I'd say! Do you know the old gramophone? Yeah. With the, with the big horn on it? Yep. Yeah. Right, well, those stereos didn't have a volume control on them. Right? So they'd be listening oh, so to you'd the put a sock in the and you'd put, mute. you'd put something like a sock. That's on. a real one, you see. That's taught me something. That's, that's good. That's yeah. excellent, Carl. That is the, that is the only one that counts, like chewing the fat. If they're true, I'm assuming they are. It works. It's of interest. I haven't got it verified yet, but that is educating Ricky. That's brilliant. I will say the other two were more entertaining. So you know, I do don't. You see, do you understand the distinction though between that one and Electrical Man? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, um, or <laughs> of it in the head, I can hear you, Mum. Yeah. <laughs> can you see the difference though? Or uh, are not, all, all not three? Because I, when I read all three, I took something away. From all of them. What, what did you, you take, take away, away from the, the electrical two? man? I just thought, oh, imagine that. Imagine how annoying <laughs> that would be. <laughs> <laughs> but that's yeah. not education, is and it? And it's really? not taking anything no, but away. What, think about it, right? We take our lives for granted all the time, don't you? You get up in the morning, it's like, oh, I'll get up and walk for a shower. Some people can't walk, right? Yeah. Yeah. This guy, he can't even have a. You know what I mean? It's nice to have a bath, isn't it, when you've got time on your hands yeah. and you can relax? This guy can't even do that. He might be alright for a bit, but he's not really enjoying it because at any moment it could strike. Yeah. So, he can't even do that. He can't comb his hair because it keeps going to mess. Yeah. He can't watch <laughs> his hair. Talking you. No, he can't. <laughs> does, he, does he fight crime? What does he do with his powers? Yeah. I think he just has to sit around because no one, he can't work with machinery. Right. Because it'll probably blow a fuse. Yeah, so he just sits around. Think about it. What can he do? Mm. What normal things can he do? Skateboarding. Going for long walks. Yeah. Put a wetsuit on. Well, he can't do that. Why? Ooh, water and electric. No, no, wetsuits aren't actually wet. <laughs> They're dry right, initially. Just put a whole wetsuit on and walk round with flippers and A wetsuit's not like a dinner jacket <laughs> that's like really <laughs> wet. Well, yeah. all, all I'm saying is think, do you know what I mean? Oh, okay. And, right. and what was the and other one? The, the, the girl death, the four the years it's her head. Yeah. That's just, What uh, have you learned from that? What is that? Well, imagine, imagine how happy you'd be. Remember that time when I, uh, <laughs> I nearly died when I choked on a Mr. Freeze pop? <laughs> Right. No, but tell us that one again. No, I told you, didn't I? Tell us it? again. Yeah, but the people will remember it and then it's- They annoying. weren't, they weren't listening. Go on. What happened? It was ages ago when my mum and dad used to go out shopping on a Friday. 1970s? Get, get, get the food in. <laughs> get, get a week's load of food in the cupboard and that and we'd, uh, you know, they'd come in with all the food <laughs> and we'd all be like, oh god, you know, there's no food left on a Thursday really so we'd all be hungry on the Friday by the time the food got in. Mm. I love that, but they like, wouldn't need it. It's a, it's, I imagine him like jackal puppies. Yeah. Just like, like, uh, 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 licking your parents' mouth for food as so, they come through the door. So they come in from the supermarket, they're emptying the box. Our kid had got some biscuits and what have you. <laughs> I, I, it's frenzy, uh, just a feeding frenzy, like pigeons. I grabbed the Mr. Freeze pop <laughs> and knocked it back really quick, but it hasn't, it wasn't frozen. So I knocked it back so it was like a liquid and it went down the wrong way, right? Yeah. And I was choking, right? And I nearly died. It, it must have been about. How long can you go before you die? A couple of minutes to do right, it. I reckon about a minute fifty. <laughs> right, I was, I, I was really close to dying. <laughs> How do you know you were close to dying? Me, uh, me, did your life flash before you? No, but I just was like, <laughs> there's loads of incidents of him eating pops. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I just, I just, just was dead forty of those. Whatever, what, right? Anyway. What do you think you'd see <laughs> if your life flashed past you? What do you think? <laughs> which elements would stand out for you? Do you think? <laughs> what? what? Uh, Start now. Go back. What do you remember? What's the first thing you remember? As a kid. Yeah, yeah. just doesn't right. now. Being in the hall and having our dog licking my face. <laughs> 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 That's your earliest memory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, zoom. what's the next one? Gonna, right, next one's probably being at, being at primary school with, yeah. uh, Lindsay. 
Yeah. Was that your girlfriend? Well, a little friend who was a girl. Sure. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and we used to have like tins with with letters in, and you'd have to write stuff. But anyway, what are we doing? <laughs> Right, so anyway. I'm intrigued by the right. dog that was licking your face. Well, bin that. <laughs> <laughs> we won't win that. Rock no, it's a great feature. I just think you need to be a little bit more careful about what, what you consider oh, to be education. Oh, I'm going funny. Right. I right. fell over. All right, well, right. I'll- We'll work on it next week. Play right. a tune and- What have you oh. got for us? Cause we've got a big competition. Come on! We've only got 20 Yeah, well, come on Don't then, quit then! Play a tune, we'll come back with Rockbusters. What are we playing? Let's play a bit of, uh, Tupac. Oh, that's what I'm coming out to, isn't it? Yeah, fight. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine it. Whack it up. Red Hot Chili Peppers, universally speaking, on XFM 104.9. Well, halfway through, Steve. I'm Ricky Gervais. That was, uh, Mr. Merchant I was referring to there as Steve. <laughs> Familiar. <laughs> friends by now. Five years in the making. <laughs> Carl Pilkington, I've known him a year and a half, but he's a good friend as well. Alright. Alright, <laughs> XFM, where paths cross. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh, so, uh, any interesting things to talk about, guys? Dr. Fox style? Uh, any amusing observations? Have you taken a sideways look at the, the week's news or anything, Carl? What have you? Tell you what I did here last night. Go on, go on. Um, Five Live. They yeah. do like a, a review of what's gone on in the week. We've been busy in the week. I haven't always got time to to follow what's going on in the world. Sure. Mm. Uh, someone's made a chicken with teeth. <laughs> 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 what for? What reason? <laughs> Don't know. Because they can. <laughs> Just because they can, and like they, they so it chooses a, food. Yeah, it had a, they had a few guests saying, "Well, you know, where will it all end?" Uh, so you you you're sure you weren't watching a Wallace and Gromit video? No, s seriously, right? It's, uh, they're doing it. They're chicken with teeth. Why would they spend millions? What do you mean about? they've got a chicken with teeth? What the? F what do you mean there's a chicken with teeth? Sounds mad, doesn't it? What are you talking about, Carl? That's what they've done. Do you know, like why? I don't know. He's just messing with science and that, and that's what the people were saying. What? Why are you doing that? Do you know what I mean? Where? Where will it start? What's the next thing? They did the sheep. They did the cloning. Right. The rat with an ear on its back. Did that. Um. Can hear a mouse, a uh, cat coming, can't yeah. it? Uh, what else were they talking about? They were talking about that sheep again. That that cloning one. Yeah, Dolly the sheep. Do you think it's that clever? Does they, 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 they do all look the same anyway. What's it got to do with its cleverness? The being fact cloned. That being cloned, is it, is it, do you think that's a good thing? He doesn't think it's that impressive because they look the same anyway. Right. They could have just put any sheep in there and go, look, yeah. they're the same. Yeah. Brilliant. So there was a programme, people were talking what about- What are you talking about, a chicken with teeth? That's, it was the latest news, it was like all about the war and that, and I was like, yeah, 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 and then it said chicken with teeth, I said, hang on. Your ears perked up. Yeah, yeah <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't hear anything about the war, did you? That was like, they might have been speaking French, or just like whistles. What's- and now, story about a chicken with teeth. Yeah. You stop washing maybe, up maybe there. Maybe someone can, someone can let us know, you know. Oh, God, don't open the floodlights. No, but I'm just saying I don't know the full thing. They just of course you surprise, don't. Surprise, surprise. They just touched on it. Yeah. Anyway, other stuff I did do proper research on in the week. Go on. Uh, having, uh, testicles done. <laughs> having, your, having your testicles done. Yeah. What does that mean? Same magazine that was doing the hanky coverage. Right? <laughs> right. Letting you know what all that's about. <laughs> um... <laughs> Sounds like a great magazine. How can we get him as a pundit on these news shows, like Newsnight, do you know what I mean, Sky, time, Sky News, on there, he? just on there, just ask him what they think, wouldn't that be amazing? Is there a producer out there that would take a chance on Pilkington? It's Pilkington, Raggy Omar, Ian Hislop, and they a panel of people, and they just ask, ask people. Yeah. yeah. So, you, so you can have, you can have your testicles made bigger. Why would you want to do that? Well, that's what I was asking. What's the point? Well, the actual testicles, or do they just inflate your ball bag? Because you could do that, couldn't you? You could uh, have some air injected, so it was like a big, <sighs> so they'd look bigger, but then they'd rattle around inside, wouldn't they? Make a little noise, wouldn't it, when you're <laughs> like <a> manakas, <laughs> like some kind of instrument? <laughs> yeah, like was sort of like one of those African instruments, just like a big sheep's bladder with yeah. little. There's Pedro on the manakas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they just, you just, yeah, yeah, just strip to the strip to the waist. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, with us hanging out, why, and then why, when, why then when you sort of like people, the neighbours would think, "What's he doing? He's 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 been playing those manacles all night." And really, you were, yeah, you know, <laughs> why why the mouse with the ear on its back? Go and keep it down. <laughs> yeah, this is really loud <laughs> to me. <laughs> hey, why, why why would someone have that done then? What's... Uh, you brought it up. Yeah, well, presumably so that they could draw a little funny face on them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, obviously. 
and you could let them down after the holiday, like you do a lilo. <laughs> exactly. <You> just let, <laughs> yeah, yeah. On holiday, you're floating round, you know, like yeah. you're just in the sea with your big instrumental manakas, right? Just floating. <laughs> you have a whale of a time, right? Yeah. People playing it as they go past. Exactly. All right, Carl. All right, you become yeah. a bit of a sort of local celebrity. Yeah, look, there's Carl with his floating manakas, like a big yeah. jellyfish, right? Yeah. And then the end of the holiday or Saturday, <laughs> if you've got a little pair of tight speedos, it'll be, it'll be like Jordan walking around. <laughs> and then he's like. Just let them down when you come let up. Let the knackers down for the plane. Mm. Yeah. Because they, apparently they do, uh, they do get bigger, don't they, as you get older? When you're an old fella. No, I think they get lower. I think that's it, that testicles and breasts get lower. Is that purely gravity? I think so, yeah. Probably stretching a bit, isn't it? So is it, is, Wear the old, and tear. is the old fellas who are walking about saying, oh, sick of these. <laughs> they don't tread on them. Well, that's yeah, why old people have always got to have a little sit down. You know, yeah, kind of yeah. Meters. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Put yeah. them in the socks. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Or they can have. A, I suppose you can have like a little ball lift. You can have a face lift, can't you? Have a little nip and tuck. Put on, or probably a face lift would help, wouldn't it? Because that if you pull oh. your face up, that's going to that, bring the skin it, up. Bring oh. up a little bit. Yeah. Don't go too far. You'll have a little knob as a tie. But you can, <laughs> you know, it, you can tighten stuff up. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> Steve with his kipper tie. That's a lovely tie you've got there, Steve. <laughs> and you look so young. Yeah. <laughs> What's that little sack underneath it? That little brooch. <laughs> well, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Playing um. with your little manacas all night, Carl. So a chicken with teeth, and you can have your balls done. That's imagine. Imagine Kirsty Ward, whatever her name is, on Newsnight saying that. And now <laughs> two features of the yeah. week: the war in Iraq. Let's forget that. Who wants their knackers done? And look at this chicken. Careful, it bites. I think we should send this link to Dr. Fox and see if, <laughs> he, see if he thinks it's an improvement on what he heard during the show. Play a record. Play a record. Yeah, get this link, send it to Dr. Fox. He'd love it. Alright. Right. Plus, he'd be able to offer, offer some kind of medical explanation. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Teenage fan club. Oh, brilliant. Love you know the most, oh, you know the biggest complaint ever on TV, the most complaints ever for anything on TV, was the showing of The Last Temptation of Christ. Yeah. Do you know the second, yeah, the se second was, was, I think, Anne Robinson, um, put in the Welsh into Room 101. What, cos she didn't like him and that? Yeah, she just said, well, they're, you know, they're going in the, you know. Can I, can she said I, it slightly I, more eloquently than that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I can under- the people or the place? I don't know. I think, I think it, was, it was the place and therefore the people. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, yeah? No, well, you know me mum and dad have sort of, uh, moved from Manchester, they've retired now in Wales. Oh, right? yeah. And it is, uh... <coughs> Look at his face! Turning his nose up! No, but it, it is pretty depressing. Do you know what I mean? It's just one of them places that... Uh, it's like you go back in time and that when you go there. I mean, maybe the major cities there, maybe Cardiff is alright. What, even coming from Manchester it's like going back in time? It's just, uh, it's like one of them places that w it feels like every day is Sunday. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's just depressing and grey and slate Lots everywhere. Lots of vicars walking around going on late. <laughs> well, yeah, it's, it's the sort of attitude they have, right? This, and this is true because my mum and dad live there and that, right? And they love it, it's alright, it's an healthy place to go when you get older and that. But, this, this is why they don't move on in Wales. Well, I'd just like to <laughs> make another no, no, sorry no. to any Welsh people listening. We're not saying you don't move on. Carl is. No, but. Sorry about the little Chinese shoes again. The thing as well. is, it's good that, in a way, that they do do that and they don't want to be like, you know, rushing about everywhere because the way London is isn't that great either, is it? Because sure. it's totally opposite mm. here, right? Yeah. So I'm not, I'm not having a go. It is a bit dull. I think even people who live there will agree with me. Okay. Right? But, like, one of the shops that my mum and dad use, right, it's only a little sort of villagey type shop. Uh, they can't be bothered staying open for hours and hours, right? Because there's not enough people use the shop. Yeah. So what you do is, uh, they get used to what you buy. And they leave they, it out. They put it in a phone box outside. They put it in a phone box? Yeah. So it doesn't get wet. So my dad's loving that. Well, Once yeah. he found that out, it was like, brilliant. But that, how is that a bad thing? That's brilliant. Well, it's not. For other people, it is for my dad. Cos he's picking up all sorts of stuff. Oh chickens. no, he's not! Oh, yeah. He's not nicking other people's shopping. Well, it's not like nicking, is it? Because it's not theirs yet. <laughs> oh! And you've stitched him up on radio. Well, of course, because yeah. they're going to think, who's that? Wh who is there in town with a mank accent? 
who who keeps, ma lot, who yeah. keeps making phone calls. <laughs> and is getting fatter. Yeah. That's the- You've stitched I right love up, that. Right, I Carl. love that, that your dad was excited when he found out- oh. I can't believe- I can't believe that he's moved there. He's retired to this little village <laughs> where it's based on trust and community and he is abusing it. He's using his scally mank ways. Bloody hell, Lakers. There's no bread again. <laughs> There's old women was going empty? hungry. Yeah. The cats aren't getting fed. And your father is just- I can't- oh, that's obscene. That's obscene. Oh, I think it's a die thief. That oh. fella from <laughs> Manchester. <laughs> I don't even think they've got Sky there yet, have they? They can't listen. They won't. They won't know what's. I think you've stitched him right up. I hope you have actually. I hope he goes down for it. I hope he's hounded out of the community like Frankenstein's monster. Yeah. They should get burning torches. Go up to the set mansion. Fire to his, set fire to his cottage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. Well. He's uh, out of the choir. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know that must be some people's favourite record, Steve. Well, it's certainly one of mine. Thunder Road, Bruce Springsteen. I wouldn't hear a bad word said against the boss. A lot no. of people dismiss him, as we said in the past, as mm. being some kind of stadium rocker, but you can't listen to a song like that and not be moved, surely, Carl. It's alright, yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> a passionate man. Yeah. What? So, Carl. No, 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 it's all right. So, oh, look, that's, certain songs were like that was that was all right. It didn't sound mm. anything. If it wasn't Bruce Springsteen, if someone new came out saying like that, I'd, I'd go, yeah, it's all right. Sure. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You're a regular yeah. Simon Cowell, aren't you? <laughs> I, I don't know if I like music as much as I used to now. That's what happens when you work in it, isn't it? Because there was yeah. a, Danny Minogue was on the telly. In the Is week. it like when you work in a sweet factory and you, you don't you don't nick the Mars bars after a couple of months? Yeah. Yeah. Danny Min Minogue was on the telly in the week, right? Yeah. And, uh, she was doing, doing a medley. Yeah. Why do people do them? Well, to try do and get all the hits. <laughs> I know, I know what you mean, yeah. But who was that busy that they haven't got time to listen to a full album or... <laughs> <laughs> well, it was like, like, it's like a meal in pill form. Yeah. Well, I like most of Danny Minogue's hits, but I don't like the whole song. Yeah, exactly. So, if you want to just, like, pop the best bits down, 30 seconds, put them all together, yeah. Well, I've got, um, a Stars on 45 record from the 70s. Do you remember those? Yeah. Stars on 45. But it's that, like you say, it was, I mean, this one had kind of, it would be a snatch of Stevie Wonder, followed by the MASH theme. Followed by Layla, just the intro. <laughs> it was sort of, it's yeah. not music. Yeah, it's just... yeah. Well, we do a bit of that, don't we? Though? That's what DJing is, isn't it? It's a bit of everything. But we play the whole song, don't we, often? Mm. Yeah, we're, we're better, aren't we, Carl? Oh. So, what do you want to talk about today? Uh, do you want to look at the list? Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's got described looks. That's our list we've put. So, this is a very amusing sort of link about describing your look. I don't know. What's this? I don't remember this. No, I just was thinking, like, uh, you know, everyone's got an idea in their head, right? Of what well, well. Like. <laughs> 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 Careful, Carl. <laughs> Don't open yourself up to criticism. Go on, yeah. Everyone's got well, an idea. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Everyone's got an idea of, uh, what they look like and stuff. Uh, if someone wanted to know what, what I look like or what Ricky looked like or what you look like, Steve, if that... Yeah. Right? Um, what would you use to describe yourself? Do you know what I mean? Words. Not really. I don't understand. What What do you mean? Well, like, uh... Someone who doesn't know us, we've got to describe, and we've... What, what's What's the game to hopefully get some sort of interpersonal language going so you know they've got the same image as you, to well, a certain yeah, I, extent? I'm just thinking, if I was to meet Steve in a restaurant... Yeah. Right, I'd... I'd, I'd Nothing I'd, untoward going on, we're just hanging out. We're no, just yeah. having a chat, just yeah, having sure. a normal night out. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Who's paying? Because, I mean, <laughs> is it expensive? Go Dutch, go Dutch, go Dutch, go <laughs> Dutch. I mean... Right, so... I, I, I say to you, I'll, I'll see you at eight, right, in, yeah. this, in this restaurant. I turn up at the door, it's a bit of a posh place, mm -hmm. right? Uh, so he's uh, Steve Merchant in. Yeah. And the waiter sort of goes, I, I, I don't know, what does he look like, right? And uh, Where's he from? Just a f little French fella. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, what does he look like? So I'd, the th thing I'd pick up on first, tall, tall lad. Tall, yeah. And then he goes, oh, well, you know, we've got lots of tall people in, right? Yeah. And I go, oh, Big eyes. Big eyes? Yeah. And then he'd go, yeah, he's over there. I'll be honest with you. I mean, you can have dinner and you can buy me dinner. I'm not sure you're going to get anywhere with me. If you're slagging me off. No, no, I'm not slagging you off, though. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. I'm just yeah. using, using what comes to mind when and can you. And can I just... Can, Tall can and I, big eyes. Can I assume that they know 
like, could I say, like, the easiest for me would I'd say, uh, looks like Reg Varney from On The Buses. Would they understand that? Can I use sort of, like, kick yeah, references? Yeah, he's, he's, he's 30-odd, this, this waiter, so he'll... Yeah, so I go, go oh yeah. yes, it's, it's a Reg Varney, he's sitting over there. Yeah, yeah so he went right. German towards the end. <laughs> See, <laughs> I describe you more, Rick, I think, as... I would imagine, I'd say, have you ever seen that Johnny Vegas on the telly? <laughs> yeah. Imagine he was inflatable and you just let out a little bit of air. <laughs> right, well, at least that's, that's nice. what Ricky would look As like. As opposed to, like, you know, p p pumping harder. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, um, what I'd describe, Carl I'd describe as, you know those little red monkeys that you see on wildlife programs, they're little, they're in the trees and they scream when they see a, a, a leopard <laughs> or something. <laughs> I think so. Shave that. Just right. shave one of those little red monkeys and put some sort of, um, you know, old sort of Manchester gear on it, maybe. Yeah, yeah you know what I mean? A, yeah, 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 a, a yeah. banana rack and some baggy jeans. I'd right. like to see how the waiter would react to that. Yeah. He's got a picture of a monkey, then he's got a picture of it shaved. <laughs> so he's got no hair, he's and then dressed like some kind of Manx scally. There go, he's, he's over there. Yeah, he's over there, Carl's over there. That's what I do. Brilliant. So, uh, now, now coming up the verve, after that, an amusing link about gay handkerchiefs. <laughs> really? Looking forward to this. <laughs> oh, I so so Go this on is... then. Oh. Right, uh, we brought it back. Uh, this is where I give a cryptic clue. Well, And some initials. Yeah. And you work it out and you win some stuff. Yeah. yeah. I was going to tell you what the prizes are. Needless to say, they're mediocre prizes for a mediocre quiz. Sure, okay, yeah. Oh, well, it's right, DVDs and VHS. And DVDs yeah. And yeah, 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 yeah. VHS, who's still got that? Right, so there's three, three of them. And what you can do now, we've tweaked it a bit. Okay. You can text in. Mm hmm. All right, so you can email or text. We've tweaked it a bit. Mm. Right. <laughs> 83xfm is the text, or it's ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Is that what it is? 83xfm? That's it. That is good, though, and yeah. it's convenient, because who's got their laptop up and running and exactly. texting? On the so it's just with your phone. Brilliant. All right. Mine so, couldn't do that. I don't know how to do that on my phone. I don't know how to get... What do you my, mean? Huh? What do you mean? My brother wanted my postcode. He said, text it to me. Mm. I couldn't work out how to do WC and That's 1. because you're an old man. It's so I had, to, I had to write out double U C 1. Oh, for goodness sake. I didn't know how to do it. I can't, it, just, it won't do it for me. Pathetic. It's ridiculous. Go well, on. Well, it's 83936 if, if you have that problem. Right? Right, come on, get on with the quiz. Right, I don't know. Three, there's too many numbers now. Three, uh, three clues. Here we go. First one is, uh, this Teletubby has got lice. <laughs> right? This Teletubby has got lice. This Teletubby has got lice. Right. The initial there is P, so it's a band or an artist yep. that starts with P and the clue is, this Teletubby has got lice, right? Yep. Um, second one. <sighs> I've, I've really, already not holding out much hope I for this. I know. Working out, go on. Uh, right, second one. I've just messed that first one up. <laughs> oh, for Christ. But what, when what? I give it out later, it'll be, we'll, I'll sneak it in without, right? Just don't repeat anything I say. You're an idiot. Listen, you you really are no, an man. idiot. No, 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 play a record. No, play a record. Play a record. You're a fool. Play no, a record. Let me, let me just no, no, no. No, you've ruined it. Well, um, Carl mucked up Rockbusters, as usual. I mean, it's, uh, you know what, I like it when he mucks it up early, because it doesn't waste people's lives sure. for 40 minutes, realizing he's mucked it up at the end. Yeah. So, obviously, people are already, they, they know what it is, they know what it is already, they've said, well, it's police, isn't it? You meant to say nits instead of lice. Yeah. You're an idiot. So that one's gone, so what, what have we got next? Right, so that's just an idea, if you haven't heard it before, that's, that's how my head works. Right, this Teletubby has got nits. So Poe. P, so Poe is a Teletubby. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so when he says cryptic, it's not only what the, what the answer is, it's what the question was meant to be. Sure. So. All right, so there's only two, so you've got even a better chance of winning than that. Well. So, the second one is, I'm saving that money to buy condoms. All right? Think about it. Easy. Too yeah. easy. J J C. Yeah, right, well that's, that's too- that uh, so everyone's got that one. I feel like saying it now. Yeah, but so don't- that's, don't Well that's say rubbish. It now. Yeah, but you've got to have an easy one in there, otherwise people get bored, don't First they? one was easy, we gave them the answer. Yeah, but- hang on. <laughs> that's the easiest one we've ever had. Police. And the- and the- th and the second one is- Yeah. Uh, when you're making bread, add a little bit of colour for a change. Alright? When you're making bread, add a little bit of colour, just change things a little bit. What are the initials? Right? D. Just D. Just D, right? right? So, what you've got there, I'm saving that money to buy condoms, the initials mm -hmm. JC. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's easy, yeah. And, uh, and when you're making some bread, just chuck some, chuck some 
colour in there. Sure. You know what I mean? Change, yeah. change yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, uh, yeah, like the clue. The clue changes every time. <laughs> yeah. The clue changes every time. <laughs> Unlike the Times crossword, the clue changes every time it's said. <laughs> 83 XFM if you want to text it. Or it's Ricky Dr. Bays at xfm.co.uk. <laughs> Rubbish. Yeah. Pointless. <laughs> anyway, just r rather than reading out the A to Z, right? Mm -hmm. Are we doing Rockbusters <laughs> answers? <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Yeah. Come on then. Right, Listen, this is this is built. This has got Chris Moyles, the Breakfast Show on Radio One. <laughs> this yeah. sort of stuff. Well, listen, Go on. Uh, have, we, have we got a winner, Steve? Did we you have. Know? I'll check that in a minute. Okay. Right. Yeah. yeah right, well, you, you find a find a good winner. Yeah. 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 The Rockbusters clues. The first one was this Teletubby has got no. mitts. Well, we know no, 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 We've no, no, done no, that. No. That yeah. was Paul Lice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah right. Rubbish. You ruined it. Right. The second one. I'm saving that money to buy condoms. Too easy, Johnny Cash. That was Johnny yeah. Cash. Rubbish. And the third one was w when you're making bread, add a bit of colour for a change and sort of, you know, change the colour of it. Right. Right? That was dye dough. <laughs> <laughs> they got that. <laughs> Lucky Man by The Verve on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais with me, Steve Merchant, and Carl Pilkington. Carl, what's the problem with Guy Yankees? You were. You played Bruce Springsteen last week. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And you said he had uh, got a load of trouble on his hands when he had uh, had a hanky in his back pocket. Do I say that on the air or? Off well, we were just saying that famously on the cover of the Born to Run, uh, Born in the USA album, it's just him, isn't it, with uh, just the, the, his backside basically with yeah. a, a red handkerchief. I wasn't looking. Well, I just uh, well, I, well, I did it for research purposes <laughs> for this amazing link. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and, um, yeah, he had a red handkerchief, I think, in his right hand pocket, and apparently yeah, that signifies. Uh, homosexuality, apparently, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, I thought it was which way you'd take it, I don't know. These are those myths, aren't they? Right, yeah, well, exactly, I don't even know if, if oh, this is... No, well, I, I read up about it. Okay. Right. Just for a search. And, uh, it's all sort of, you know, you've got all different coloured ankies. Are they? Right? Yeah. <laughs> right, and, uh, it depends what pocket you put it in yeah. as well, so you've got, like, the different colours, yeah. different pockets. Yeah. And, uh, Sorry, how many variations are there? Different pockets is what? Well, you've got, like, your, your back pocket, your right back pocket. But what do they mean? Pocket. What do you mean? Well, what do they signify? You can't just tell us they signify something. What do they signify? Well, some some stuff that we don't really want to talk about, to be honest. What? Sort of, uh, stuff that gays are into. <laughs> right. <laughs> what? So what do you mean? Well, well, Barbara well, Streisand records. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Eurovision. No, like, a couple of things that were there that I know we can mention. He said something about. I love that. What he thinks he can't mention. Yeah, I love yeah. it. Decency. What is this? 1956. No, no, no. But I mean, it isn't just you know having it away. It's <laughs> having it away. I love him. No, having you, it away. <laughs> you get up to some weird stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact he didn't want to offend, but he's yeah. offended a lot more people yeah, yeah. by saying of they course. get up to some weird stuff. Right. In your opinion. Yeah, what do you mean? No, do I, what, no but don't, 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 if it's, if, if there is something that I don't know about that it's, like, you can't say on the radio. Yeah, I don't, uh, I'd, I'd rather not. But what do you mean weird stuff? Well, one of them, right, if you've got a red anky, right, <laughs> yeah. in your right pocket. Like yeah. Bruce. Yeah. That's that exactly what, what Bruce had, yeah. Right, well, apparently then, Bruce is an armpit freak. An, ar an armpit <laughs> freak? Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> really? No. No. But Carl. that's very specific. Carl. Seriously. Well, what, right, okay, right, okay. What else is there then? Sorry, is there some kind of homosexual body that sat down and, and came up with this at some point? Well, you said we've got, well, this is getting crazy. You've got, like, a blue handkerchief in your top breast pocket. I don't know what that means. You need to sit down. There's some kind of summit. Figure out what it means. Yeah. It, it, it's just that you're not, you're not free from it either. So if you were to go in, in, in like, a gay bar, yeah. which, you know, you might do if you're straight anyway, because they're, you know, good, good places, I think. Mm hmm. Right? <laughs> um, you can't actually go in there if you've got a cold, because every coloured hanky represents something. Right. So if I was to go in and add a bit of a, a sniffle, sniffle, I could get into all sorts of trouble. <laughs> right. Well, for that, a Marks and Spencer's white linen hanky, that means you Ooh. like to be tied up and whipped. Yeah. There was another one, um, <laughs> armpit freak we've covered. Uh, yeah, armpit freak is done. <laughs> we've covered. An armpit freak? <laughs> <laughs> I don't God. really know what that means. So, no. uh, right, okay, yeah. But there was just one other thing, like a blue and white one, <laughs> is if you're into sailors. To so sailors? Like, yeah, if you have a little blue and white anky, that's in your left pocket. Yeah. Right. Um, blue and white equals sailor.
Okay, we've got to sort this out. We didn't meet again this week, and this is a shoddy show. I thought we had a sort of framework for it, but um, <laughs> do you know what I mean? No, I thought it'd be, you know, Carl could sort of tell him what was going on. He doesn't know anything except watching telly, late night telly on st strange channels. Like he gets all his information uh, about the news on Ananova, and I mean. I, I even tried to help because um, Monkey News last week was awful. It wasn't Monkey I mean, News. It wasn't Monkey News. It was I, 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 I can't remember. It. On, I've been away on holiday. Brilliant, yeah. And the, the Monkey News stops. Uh, um, I, I phoned him up that on there was a, there was a front cover um, of the I think it was the Telegraph one day this week, and um, it was an ironic story. It was a fluff piece, but it was a funny story. It was about a um, a monkey in a uh, in a zoo that had had a a. a a ruck with its father because it's adolescent. It was like the equivalent of like sixteen to eighteen, and it had a fight with its father, and it escaped. It ran away, and it was like you know an interesting story. Yeah. I phoned Carl up and said, "It's a monkey news. Um, a monkey has escaped from its cage after an argument with its father." And he said, "What was the argument about?" <laughs> I mean, he thinks like Homer Simpson. Yeah. Amazing. What was the argument about? Like the zookeepers are going, oh, look, oh no, he's brought up his untidy room again. The father, oh, look, he's caught him smoking again. Oh. I mean, what do you mean, what was the argument about? They have fights. Oh. They have fights and then it ran away. His dad wanted him to go to college, but he just wants to quit and get a job. <laughs> yeah. And he, he fancied a monkey in the other cage. And the father was saying, she's not good enough for you. No. Oh. So what was it about? News today? Uh, yeah, I got a little bit of them. You got a little bit of monkey news, right? Yeah. You've redeemed yourself right. then this we, week. We've got some stuff there and that. Josh Rouse, it's the night time on XFM 104.9. Uh, Steve Merchant, Ricky Gervais, Carl Pilkington. Um, and uh, what we what is, is it time? Is I it think time? I think so. Yeah. Oh, chimpanzee, that monkey news. Right then. So uh, there's this monkey, right? Right. In Canada, it's in a zoo in. Uh, Toronto, I think it is. Mm. Um, his name's Pascal, right? And uh, what happened was all the, the people in the zoo uh, sort of said, you know, what can we do? Uh, sort of spice the day up a bit. Right? Yeah. So they left. Embellishing. Uh, no way this is a new story. Let him do the news. Let him yeah. do the news. Okay. So they. they left. Any dates? Just uh, let him read the news. Well, I, 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 interrupt Moira Stewart. It's an outsider. <laughs> <weeks ago. laughs> <laughs> no, because she always says today, <laughs> so you know it's news. She doesn't say right. There was a monkey, right? Yeah, right. Well, in then, Canada, on, right? Just finish okay. the okay. A couple of weeks ago, in this zoo in Canada, right? Um, Jesus. They got a camcorder, right? And they said, let's let's leave it for the uh, for the monkey to have a, a play with, right? So um, anyway, they, they passed Wh it around. One of BAFTA. And a couple of chimps and that were rubbish at it. They were like filming the floor and all that, and the fingers were always in shot and stuff like that, right? But anyway, there was one, this this one chimp called Pascal, right? Who, uh. Annoys me that he calls them monkeys, though. He they're was, not monkeys, they're apes. He was, a, he was a dab hand at it, right? He was like, <laughs> uh. Filming stuff, really good shots, you know, sort of nice mood and that. He used the lighting properly and all the rest of it. <laughs> no, he didn't. Just let. This is this the news? What are you talking about? This is the news. <laughs> God, so Steve, anyway. it's so annoying. You know, it annoys me so much. <laughs> Things like that. He was a dab under. He was doing really good shots. It really annoys me. Let's hear the anyway, news. Anyway, right. So he started uh, at night, like when the zookeepers went home. He started filming like other monkeys on on the go, like, like whilst they were at it, right. And he was filming them and what have you. The um, Ron Jeremy of I the love zoo. It. You know yeah. it's gonna end up on the web. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, the zookeepers came in the next day and it's like, let's see what shots he's got. Anyway, he's got all this like, you know, all these monkeys at it and what have you. So Oh um, yeah, this is uh, uh, honestly so, <coughs> you so, don't know what this is doing to me, Steve. So Can I stop it now? So they thought like uh, actually there's a few monkeys who who aren't at it enough. Do you know what I mean? They have problems and what have you, so let's give them the Videos. That is so untrue. This is so untrue. So, it's so untrue that it was filmed by a monkey. So it's so untrue. Then, right? Rick, I don't know so, who to believe. <laughs> <laughs> so oh God, you're talking so much shit again. So, you must know that's not true. There's so no way. There's a load of tapes out. Look at me. Honest. Look at me. Don't keep talking. Look at me. Yeah. You must know that's not true. Can it's we just hear the you, end of this news? You. you had a go at me last week because I didn't have the full story. I've got the full story. You're still not happy. There is no way mm. that. B by chance, one, all this, oh, what should we do? Let's give him a camcorder. That could happen. Yeah. He then films him at it. That might happen. It might happen, but I don't think he'd keep the camera still. Uh, 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 uh two, they go, hold on, this is good stuff. This 
is good shit. This porn's good shit. Anyway, Look at so that. He's got a lovely shot. Yeah, yeah. So this is ridiculous. So let me just recap, because I, I lost my way there. So the monkey has filmed the, the monkey porn, yeah. and now he's, they're showing it to the other monkeys. Is he directing? Can you hear him saying stuff? Can you hear him go, It's just like, you know, chimp pimp one, two, and three, and all the rest of it, right? But anyway, so they've got all these other tapes, um, because what happened was, um, they said he's quite good at this. Oh, and, and the animals, God! And the animals are, uh, happy having him around because he's not a human, he's just one of the gang, do you True. know what I mean? So they started putting him in with other things like, you know, ostriches. Right. Uh, and talking <laughs> shit. I, I it was- I So, and do you know how they have a problem with pandas in, in Japan? Yeah. So they've, they've sent him out there, filming, uh, filming a bit of- where are you going? You, you, honestly, you, you, you really annoy me. There's Come no on, way this is happening. Can we it's just hear the end? Why can't he just find a real story about a, 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 a monkey? Let's hear I mean, the, the end. end. The end is he's really, that is, he's going to China, he's, he's filming the pandas and what No, he's it. not! They wouldn't send a so, monkey director! Uh, they would not it's send it's a monkey director! Let's just do it now. Should we do it now? Well, let's- I think we should have a, a white van man session. Oh, white van man. Because I think man people tune in for the white van man yeah, session. Yeah, people haven't oh. tuned in, they don't know. If people aren't familiar with this, uh, <laughs> The Sun runs a column, uh, every day, which is, uh, asking some punter from the street their views on the week's big, uh, events, and we just thought, why not hijack that idea, but apply it to Carl Pilkington. I Carl? I haven't seen much news again this week. You've not seen much news? Don't worry, I'm sure you have an opinion on just it Just have anyway. you, just g give us it from your heart. So gladiator. Okay, so, well, on the subject of gladiator, what do you make of Russell Crowe's appalling behaviour at the BAFTAs? This is, um, I heard a bit about this. This is, um, when he, he got some director or something, cos... Director or producer and threatened him, cos they cut his bit, didn't they? they yeah, they cut a poem that he'd done during See, the acceptance speech. I, I watched it on Sunday night. Sure. I didn't realise it wasn't live, to be honest. Yeah. But, um, I quite liked the way it was to the point and didn't mess about. It was, he went up, he said thanks. So you're saying that he shouldn't have beaten up the, uh, director? <laughs> Is that what you're basically saying? It's a bit over the top. You thought I so? I mean, <laughs> if you didn't have time, if you really, I mean, what's, what's the poem got to do with the, the film anyway? He, he was an awards So do you think it's ever justified to beat up a TV director if you're a major Hollywood star? Depends what he's done, but I mean... <laughs> right, what would he have to have done, Carl, for it to be fine for him to then beat him up? The thing is, right, forget all the beating up. At the end of the day, it was a awards thing for a film. The poem had nothing to do with the film. Yeah. So go up, collect your award for that thing. And if you really, really wanted people to hear about this poem, he could have photocopied it <laughs> sure. and left it at the entrance and said, on your way out, this is a really nice poem, pick one up. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the thing is... He knew it was televised, so he knew by saying that poem once, he was reaching five million people. That's a lot, that's a lot of photocopies. Do you see what I'm saying? I'm yeah, not saying he was justified. It wasn't, it wasn't a poem award. If it was a, an award <laughs> show for poems, you'd say you can't cut it out. It'd be like doing the top 40 and then going, number one's good, but we haven't got time for it. But, <laughs> but it's a films thing. Okay. And he went up and he got the award for the film. Which film was it see, for? I don't know, but when I wanted to give you results, I said, I said, let's give Carl his results. Steve went, no, we should introduce people to Carl again, just remind people what Carl's like. And he's so right. I'm so glad we did this first. <laughs> I'm alright, though. Or Carry I'm on, wrong. Steve. Okay, the next, uh, the next topic, um, what about this big debate over whether Kylie Minogue has had a bum job? I'd have to see it. <laughs> <laughs> next! <laughs> okay. Um, uh, what do you make of Will Young's single? He's the pop idol winner. Uh, it's gonna, uh, net record-breaking sales, apparently. It's gonna yeah. go straight to number one, he's had millions of copies sold. I heard last week that you had to, um, <laughs> if you wanted to buy it from Woolworths, you had to go in and put a pound down to guarantee you're getting a copy. Wow. I think that's stupid. But what do you make of it, though? Do you think, what, um... as a song? As, both as a song, and do you, are you excited about Will Young and his future? No, it'll do all right. I don't think we we have to worry about him. Okay. It'll, yeah, it will do all right. It's not my thing, but he seems like a nice bloke. Okay, good. Really good. Um, what one do you final make? One. Yeah, one final one then. Um, what do you make of our scientists getting the go-ahead to clone embryos for research? We have discussed cloning before, and obviously there's uh, the pros and cons of that. Christopher Reeve, former Superman star, he's behind this. Are you behind him? Yeah. I mean, with everything, you have your good and your bad, don't you? Yeah. At the end of the day. Uh, if you didn't have bad things in the world, then you wouldn't enjoy the good things. I think, you know, it's like if you didn't have robbers in the world, policemen wouldn't have a job. So it's the same thing. It's like, it's an illness, yeah? Some, what, 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 what are they messing with? 
it's probably a bit too detailed to go into there, really. But um, do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's it's good and bad. You can't have it all. Yin and yang is what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Carl. I can't argue with that, mate. Um, I want to play a track now that uh, I haven't heard for a while. It's the Verve, isn't it? Yeah. Sonnet. Lovely song. Coming soon. Those big exam results. <laughs> <laughs> 